What's up everybody, Shadowhaxer here from the Outerhaven.net and today I'm going to show you about a feature in XSplit Broadcaster that many of you may not know of. In fact, I didn't know about the feature until a couple hours ago when I was talking to someone on Twitter and they were asking how to do this and I stated I didn't think there was a way to do it until XSplit came on and said yes there is a way to do it. We have a function in XSplit called scene record but we don't have any documentation and we don't have a video on how to do it which is not very helpful but being the person that I am, I went to a, a broadcaster and I figured it out. So again, the feature is called scene, scene, not screen, scene record. And what this will do is it will allow you to set up multiple scenes within XSplit broadcaster and it allows you to have a clean output. For example, right now I'm using a webcam and an overlay for the webcam so you can see my lovely face. Okay, the problem with that is if I stream this, typically by default, it's also going to record this. So if I hit the record button, it's going to show the overlay. But what we want to do, and I turn this Xbox back on for a second, he didn't want to sleep. What we want to do is provide a clean outlay or a clean output. So for example, if we want to use it on a YouTube walkthrough or tutorial or highlight reel or anything, anything you want clean footage for. So having the webcam and host buttons and subscription buttons and whatever else you have on your screen isn't very helpful. So what I'm going to do is show you how to avoid all this. By using this option so by default when you hit the broadcast button and i'm going to broadcast to an unlisted youtube channel it will take the very first option which is your local screen we don't want that so if we hit local recording it records right to your main your main scene the live scene what we're going to do is we're going to change that so in this example i've set up a secondary screen which doesn't have my overlay doesn't have a webcam in there and i went back to my primary scene what we're going to do is we're going to go to record and we're going to go to the bottom which says scene to record and right now it is set to live scene. We're going to change that to scene two. So what we're telling XSplit to do, XSplit Broadcaster, is when we hit the record, local recording button, it's going to record my secondary scene or your third scene or whatever scene you set up. Any scene other than the first scene which has your webcam overlays and whatever else you want to have in there. Okay, so I've gave it about 11 seconds. So I'm gonna go back and say stop local recording. Okay, and now we're gonna to go to the video. And now you can see that the webcam overlay is not here. It's completely gone because we recorded off of the secondary scene, which is exactly what we wanted. This is what happens if you go back to the live scene and you do a local record. By default, it's gonna grab your first scene, which means everything that's on your screen right now in your, your very first scene, it's going to get recorded. So I've recorded about eh, eight seconds of footage. So we're going to stop. So now we're going to open it up again. And now you see that the webcam footage or the webcam overlay is there. So it's great if you want to record your streams on Twitch or YouTube or Mixer or wherever you're recording to or streaming to, and you want to put them on your channel. But if you want to do something, say you got a game you're reviewing, like us, we do, uh, do that a lot here at the Outhaven. I want clean output so I can use that for footage for walkthroughs or tutorials or anything of that nature. So we definitely want to make sure that we go to record and set the scene to record to my secondary or third or fourth or fifth scene, not the first scene. First scene will have all your overlays, all right? So I hope that helps you in your YouTube and your streaming adventures from here on forth. I really wish the XSplit had put more documentation out regarding this because I was looking left and right for any kind of documentation and I found nothing. So I felt kind of bad telling somebody that's not an option and only to have expert come on and say, oh, it is an option, but we just don't know. We, we just don't tell you how to do it. That's not very helpful. So hopefully this video will help you figure this out because I've already done the work for you. All right. That's pretty much it. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.